hi everyone once again very good evening to all of you i believe uh, some of the students and some of the teachers uh, are joining this session and i think many of the students are new to 3d experience platform or they are working for this stfe program for the first time so can we just uh, drop uh, s or if you are a new type uh, yes uh, we are working of, on this program for the first time uh, please try, drop yes if you if you are new okay raising the high hands okay i see so many people have raised their hands uh, and that means uh, many people are new to uh, 3d experience platform or x design thing so <clears throat> those who are new uh, don't worry i will start with some basics so in today's session i will just teach you some basic fundamental things about how you can use uh, what is 3d experience platform you have that session but in this session i will uh, talk about how you can uh, work on x design x design is a cad modeling part uh, which is there inside 3d experience platform all right so, uh, meanwhile i will share my screen let me know if you can see my screen please type yes so that uh, you can drop a message so that i will get to know that yeah you can see my screen can you drop a message in a chat window okay all right yes so so many yes we are work working on this program for the first time all right the chat is di disabled but other than that the screen is visible besides these black boxes all right the screen is visible chat is disabled okay i don't know how to activate that chat setting but uh, we can connect through question and answer section if you still have any query all right so everybody can see my screen so i will just let me take the remote of my machine so yeah uh, before beginning uh, i would like to talk about myself uh, i am sagar sutar i work at dassault system as a trainer and i am the part of dassault system la foundation so what i work i work as a trainer e learning expert and cad and cae professional i will talk each and every detail what these things are and a technical writer and programmer the first is e learning expert that means i create e learning material whatever the e learning material you see maybe uh, on youtube or maybe on any website that e learning material i create what what kind type of e learning material that is for cad and cae software so cad is computer aided drawing and cae is computer aided engineering there are oh, two streams cad is regarding like using computer you will create drawings sketches or parts and ca is using uh, you work on those parts you will apply some forces and try to obtain some results so that is ca so i work as a cad and ca professional at dassault system and create e learning material also we write trading manuals uh, which is used by uh, our worldwide users so this is one of the training man manual you can see on my screen so this is solid works essential that's a training manual so this type of training manuals i create so i am a technical writer also all right all right okay so let's move on to the 3d experience platform that's it about myself so i'm at dassault system lab foundation i conduct and manage uh, training for x design x design that is a particular app 
which is there in the 3D experience platform and which you will use while working on your dream product. So this in simple words, let us say this is the link through which you will log into 3D experience platform. And once you log in, you will get this screen. Or you can say this is like a, a dashboard screen you will see on your machine. So let me ask you one more question. Type yes if you have access to 3D experience platform and type no if you do not have access to 3D experience platform. Or I, I can just I can just launch a poll. Just a minute. Do you have access to 3D experience platform? Choice one, yes. Choice two, no. I'm just dropping a quiz poll. Okay. Just a minute, save as webinar poll. So that I will, okay. Do you use a, a pop-up? Have you, okay. I have dropped uh, one quiz poll. Can you respond to that poll? So that I will get a, clear picture how many people okay launch it yeah I have dropped a quiz uh, one poll yeah please respond to it so that I will get a clear picture that how many of you have access to 3d experience platform everybody please respond see uh, there is one form uh, one form that is uh, filled by your team or yourself or teacher in that form you submitted few details like your name surname and login id uh, email id that kind of details you submitted so whatever the email id you submitted you must have received one email from dassault system a welcome email that uh, and a link through which you will able to join to 3D experience platform. So use that link and try to log into 3D experience platform. So the response is like 70% approximately 67% uh, people have access to 3D experience platform and 33% don't have access to 3D experience platform. All right, so those who are facing in accessing the 3D experience platform, um, those have access, uh, those do not have access, you please check your email. There you will see the link. Click on that link and uh, set up your password so that you can log into 3D experience platform. Your uh, email ID can be your username. So you can just type your email ID as username and password. Um, through that link, you have to set up the password and you you all set to log into 3D experience platform. All right. Those who do not have access to 3D experience platform or some of the students who, ha who are facing, maybe they do not have access to edge design. I would say for each school, just drop a one uh, swim post on the community or you can drop a simple email to your school champion. You can just drop a single email to your school champion that school champion is from Dassault System Law Foundation who will connect with uh, who, who, 
who is like a first point of contact from Dassault all system for each school each school has one school champion so a teacher or a student or they can just uh, drop over a, a single email for each school to a res respective school champion like these are the students from my school are having access having problem you can just write details about your problem those who do not have access to 3d experience platform those who have access to 3d experience platform and they are not able to launch or log in into x design or they are not able to access x design they can add a swim post all right so we have not yet started with x design i'm just uh, making sure how many of you have access to 3d experience platform and I'm just want to show, and those who have access, they will just log in, and uh, I will give you some exercises. When I do something, I will give you some models to practice on. You will just do do the practice and give me the results. All right. Uh, those who do not have, don't worry. Just watch this webinar. Uh, the we are recording the webinar. So once that is, once our webinar is done, we will share the. Um, recording with all of you but please be be here with this because i will be doing so many pics and clicks on the screen if you are there with me that will be very helpful all right let's move on to the 3d uh, 3d experience platform now all right so when you log into 3d experience platform you will see this screen and uh, for your school, there must be some dashboard. On the left side, there are different dashboards, but for each school, there is a specific dashboard belonging to that specific school. So assume that my name is X, uh, my school name is XYZ. So here you will see the dashboard regarding my school. And there will be so much tab one of the tab will be x design and 3d swim so if i just expand this i can see the x design app on my screen so this is what the x design app looks like this is one way you can access x design just log into the platform and expand the expand the uh, access the uh, dashboard in that, that there is a tab x design and 3d swim there you you will see the app just expand it make it full screen that's it you are able to access the x design that is one way all right meanwhile i'm just checking any responses how to drop a sweep okay don't worry i have access but yeah, some of the students have ac have problem while accessing the X design. Don't worry, you can always reach out to your school champion, or I will drop the uh, the number of uh, emails to whom to contact. I will drop their email IDs, a particular team email ID whom you need to contact. But just wait. Those who have those who are struggling, some technical error, a uh, technical support team will connect with you. Don't worry. All right. Once you launch the screen, this is how it looks about X Design. Now, what I have to do? Definitely, there in your team, uh, you you will be working on your dream dream product. Some of the students um, will do the like uh, initial uh, or any. Uh, we have to create a CAD model of your product, and we need to showcase that. But why do we need to create a CAD model? Because if we directly go for manufacturing the part and we will do the manufacturing, then we will test it and we will realize there are some mistakes in the part. Like uh, the mass is, uh, the part is too much heavy or maybe the part is weak or maybe it's not a, uh, the aesthetically the part is not good. Some of the errors are there, so we will do remanufacturing and 
it again we will do the remanufacturing and retesting so it is a time consuming task to save it we use cad modeling so in that we are using x design so we will create the part in the in the virtual world or in the software we will test it in the software once it's uh, it looks okay we will just publish uh, uh, print it or manufacture it so same way to create a particular part or a product we need to create a new component so i will click on new component and here i will say the part name like sample underscore zero one now currently my location is a flora valley school why because uh, i was a one of i was a school champion for that school a uh, couple of three years back so i'm not going to change i will just keep it as is and i will click okay in your case also you will see the file location file location is the space where your product will get saved and the bookmark is like a uh, uh if i bookmark my product i will be more easily access the product if we have so much collaborative space i will use bookmark in your case you have access to your uh, school collaborative space only so you don't need to you don't don't need this option only first and second option are sufficient to create a new part file so once you click okay you will see a new part file is created or a product file is created and you will see the x design graphics area are you following up till now i want 100% participation in this session i can see a, a good number of uh, stu students and teachers are attending so i want 100% participation i am also accessing qa q and a section in between so if you have any query you can post it okay yes shivanshu yes okay puranjay yes okay so if you are okay i i understood your query school champion is already assigned don't worry sivanshu oh, i will i will drop an email whom you need to connect on this okay all right so you are following up till now let's go to this section so this is the graphics area this is the graphics area where we are going to create our part you can see three planes one two and three three planes are there on which we can create our sketch so this is called a graphics area on the left you can see is the design manager is like whatever things you will create here the corresponding to that there will be one feature created and that feature you can see it on the left side now on the ra top right there is a chair chair is like to change the view of the model sometimes i want to see the top view of the model sometimes i want to see the front view of the model so this i want to change the view of the model i i have that chair icon so using that i can orient the model if i want to change the view to trimetric so i can see the 3d view of the part so for that we have this chair to change the view of the model all right uh, so once you log in this is the graphics area now what i want to create i want to create a cylindrical rod a solid cylindrical rod of uh, let us say 50 cm i am saying 50 cm solid cylindrical rod i will just uh, open one ppt and i will just drop a problem definition so that create a create a solid cylindrical rod of 50 cm so this is my 
सिलेंड्रिकल रॉड ऑफ फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर दिस इज माई रॉड ऑफ फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर रेडियस एंड वन फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर लेंथ सो आई हैव बोथ द डायमेंशन रेडियस एंड इट्स लेंथ सो लेट्स ट्राई टू क्रिएट दैट ओके सो टू क्रिएट दैट सॉलिड सिलेंड्रिकल रॉड I need a circular sketch because solid cylinder is a 3D geometry, and to to make it, I need one 2D geometry because once you have a sketch, I can apply some techniques or tools to make it a 3D object. So I am clicking. You can create sketch on any of the plane. Here I am clicking this plane, YZ plane, and clicking on sketch to create a sketch. The moment I click. you can see there are some changes the sketch environment is open you can see the sketch one is active and this is like whether you want to close the case uh, sketch or you want you are accepting the sketch so these are the things are there some of the things now what i want to do i want to create one circle so i will use center circle command click it and i will drop uh, i will click somewhere in the graphics area and i move my circle and i will do another click so i have placed two points two clicks one click in the graphics area that is like a center point of the circle and still second click was like a radius of the circle so i have drawn a circle but you can see the color of the circle is blue so the circle is blue in color i have not provided the dimension yet now i will provide the dimension so can you tell me the radius of the circle was 50 cm but here we, it is asking me to drop and diameter of the circle so what will be the diameter of the circle if the radius is 50 cm the radius of the circle is 50 cm but the software is asking me to drop and diameter of the circle so mohita ma'am or so student i am not uh, 100 cm 100 cm yeah very good thank you shivanshu rudra anish that must be 100 cm so this must be 100 cm let's try to enter it all right now i have enter i have entered the diameter as 100 cm which means the radius is 50 cm but still the color of my sketch is blue so if your sketch is blue in color that means all the dimension have not been added or in other word your sketch is not fully defined what do you mean by that if i Uh, select this circle and try to move it it is just like moving in space in that sketch environment it is moving if i drag it on the right it is able i am able to drag it if i drag it on the left it is able to drag it so the sketch that's why the sketch is blue in color it is moving i don't want that it is moving so i have to i have to make that black in color that means i have to fully position the sketch now i am dragging the circle towards the center and placing it now you can see the color of the sketch turned into black which means my sketch is fully defined if i now try to drag it it is not moving whatever things i have did in last 2 minutes these are very crucial did you understand what i did just now color of the sketch was maitreya you cannot use stl file you can use it but see the theme of this program that all the students must use 3d experience platform and its apps to create your product you can create your product in any software but whatever the product you will create you will lose all your points for that section that's it the jury members will will chop your marks there they will not give any marks on that section all right
let me show you what i did just again some of the students asked me to re redo it i will just click undo uh, control z undo so now the initially the sketch of my circle was blue in color it was not black in color so what i did i just press the center of the circle and move my circle towards the center and align my center with the origin so my the circle is now properly placed that's why the sketch of my circle is now black in color black in color that means my sketch is fully defined now it is not moving if i if i try to move it it is not moving that means my sketch is fully defined understood all right okay i'm here now so i have created a cylind uh, circular part now there is a, a there is a feature step you can see there are so many commands there is a line command this command can be used to create a line then there is a rectangle command if i use it i can create a rectangle then there is a arc command i can create arc there is a circle command then there is a ellipse command do you know ellipse ellipse command then there is a polygon command maybe in your product you need to create hexagon you can create it so i'm just showing you different commands here be with me for some time all right these are the commands you can access using sketch environment now my circle is ready now i will make a solid cylinder out of it so i will click on click on the features tab there are so many commands to access but i will go with the basic one that is extrude command if i click it <coughs> and now i have clicked the command and uh, i will uh, what i want i want to extrude this sketch by do you remember how much centimeter 150 cm is the length so how much it is asking me in mm how much it will be wait a minute uh, sketch is in mm so we have to change it to centimeter right so i will change it to 100 cm it is showing me 10 cm what was the diameter it must be 100 cm now it is in cm now i will extrude it it is as asking me how much distance or you want to extrude it i will enter 150 cm and if i click okay this is the cylindrical rod we created understood so we used two things first we created one sketch and second we applied the extrude feature to the sketch and using that we created a cylindrical rod all of you followed this type yes if you understood yes definitely this is like a tinker cad x design it's much more than that but x design part is for creating the cad product understood easy one now i will what i will do just look at it so this is the part i created now i will go to tool step i am going to tool section in the tools you can see so many command but then there is a weight command weight property can you see this weighing small uh, weighing machine you can say i will just click on this and it is asking me for the body i will select this part as the body and you can see the weight of the part or you can just check the volume of the part so what is the volume 1.178 into e raised to 6 that is the answer so you will just note down this volume part so that uh, why this part i can if i apply the material i can imagine or i i can get how much must how, how much will be the weight of the part that things i can get here i have not defined the material 
this is a basic session in the next session i will show you how you can apply the material <clears throat> for now we we'll just focus on the volume you take the note of the volume and you will drop it into the chat window okay so this part is created now i will save it this is my cylindrical rod i created let us say this was your dream product and uh, later on your friends you are working and then you realize okay this part is quite smaller the diameter is quite uh, big uh, quite smaller i need to increase the diameter as well as length of the rod so the best part about the cad modeling is that you can always now see i i will just edit the sketch i created earlier this is the sketch i created earlier now i want to access the other view of the part i can just use the arrow key to change the to rotate the sketch so i have i have rotated the sketch now i will change this dimension to 100 to let us say 250 cm i will exit the sketch again the length of the cylindrical also i want to change it let us say it was earlier it was 150 now i want to make it of 1000 cm and you can see the dimensions are changed and automatically the part is modified understood so this part is called as a editing of the part so i have edited the part change its dimension and uh, showed you back understood now i will give you an exercise for you and uh, you will if you have followed till now i will save this part and what i will show you so this was let us say problem number 1 now i will assign you second this is like assignment a uh, question create a cube of size 12 cm find out its volume and share it in the the q and a section all right so this is the assignment for you those who have access to x design i give you 5 minutes to do this assignment you will just create a cube of size 12 cm and uh share its volume in q and a section i will wait for a couple 5 minutes i wait for your answers and then i will demonstrate you how you can make this all right now your task your time meanwhile i will just connect with students those who have any queries uh just log in to 3d experience platform go to dashboard there will be dashboard specifically for your sc school read on that dashboard there must be one section x design and 3d swim access that tab see x design icon click on the x uh, expand window button in that app and you you will have access to x design yeah how much is the volume have you created the part a cube i want to create so to create a cube what will be the sketch base sketch it will be a square a square of size 12 cm by 12 cm so try to draw the 1728 mm cube puranjay you are absolutely correct 1278 mm cube but my friend i ask you to draw 12 cm not mm you are absolutely correct my friend puranjay but you have used 12 mm i have asked you 12 cm show the question again can you see the question 
create a cube of size i hope the question is readable to everybody 12 cm size cube you have to draw rudra just create a simple sketch of 12 cm by 12 cm create a rectangle add dimension 12 cm and 12 cm that will be your sri hari please connect with your school champion if you do not have access or if you don't see your dashboard with your school name you just connect or maybe there must you can you can create your own dashboard also how many of you solve this question i will wait for one more minute then i will demonstrate just drop your answer amog very good 1728 cm cube that's correct answer all right now i will create a cube and uh, just follow me so let me expand the screen okay here is the x design i will close this part and those who were having queries please uh yeah so let us say if this was one way i can access the x design second way i can just click on 3d experience platform compass icon then 3d designer for education if i click on that you will see various roles out of that we are focusing on x design that is the app we will use so if i click it automatically this will launch the app so it is launching this is another way you can access your x design now it is asking you to pin it to the dashboard if i click and i can pin it to particular school new tab and i can add it so you can see the app is now pinned to particular tab if i expand it it's there okay now what i have to do sample underscore cube that's the part and i will use just a minute i will use this school teju school i was a school champion for this school also so i will use this one i connect back with their te uh, teachers or students of this school and ask them just ignore the part i created in your collaborative space so now the sample cube is created first thing was cube is a 3d part but the fundamental sketch that we need is a 2d sketch and that's a square so you want to create a square for that i have used a rectangle command definitely i have drawn a rectangle now it is it is asking me to add the dimension see the my unit is in centimeter that's a good point that i have now it is 12 cm one of the length is 12 cm another length is 12 cm the sketch is black in color that means sketch is fully defined <laughs> i will exit the sketch you can see the sketch is created in the feature tree on the left then i will go to features tab i will create a extrude select this sketch <coughs> and extrude it by 12 cm and if i click okay a solid cube is generated here if i go to tools tab and if i check the weight properties if i select the body and there you can see 1728 cm cube that's a weight a uh, volume of my cube understood understood my dear friends teachers i
ओके अंडरस्टूड कर्णिक सानवी शिवांशु अंडरस्टूड हियर हाउ वी क्रिएटेड अ क्यूब नाउ आई विल गिव यू सम मोर एडवांस लेवल टास्क दैट वॉज इजी वन दोज हु एक्सेस टू एक्स डिजाइन दे विल जस्ट परफॉर्म दोज डू नॉट हैव एक्सेस दोज हु आर हैविंग एरर गेटिंग एरर वाइल एक्सेसिंग द एक्स डिजाइन डोंट वरी वी आर देयर देर इज अ टीम ऑफ हंड्रेड वॉलेंटियर्स हु इज देयर विथ यू सो डोंट वरी इफ यू डोंट हैव एक्सेस जस्ट स्टे कूल लुक एट द सेशन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग वी आर डूइंग हियर recording will be there you can follow it onwards after you have access so don't panic just see all right gitika is asking me how you can make you how to make you please repeat i will show you one more time so gitika first i created a sketch i will delete these features i since i want to show it again i'm just deleting extrude feature also i am deleting see i created i selected a plane and created a sketch on it added a dimension let us say i want to create a square i created one rectangle why it is rectangle all the angles are 90 degree but now since i want a cube a square i have to draw so which means i have to make each side 12 cm so if i have added dimension 12 cm and 12 cm and since i have started with origin my sketch is automatically fully defined black in color that means my basic sketch of square is ready next part i will accept the sketch that means sketch is there now i will go to make 3d out of it for that i will use extrude command so click on extrude automatically the software uh, uh launches the command and the automatically the pro profile section gets activated it is just asking you to select the profile you will select the profile and in the distance you can write 12 cm and if i click okay that's the cube you created understood any question now i am going to do some extra things in this cube so please be with me mrgk what is mrgk maitreya all right now what uh, what is the next thing i will i uh, i will add a hole from the top surface to this cube and uh, what will be the depth of the hole i will make 6 cm diameter 6 cm diameter that is the diameter of my hole i will make a hole of length let's say a uh, make a hole of length 6 cm diameter is 6 cm and a depth of the hole is also 6 cm from the top of the cube so let's say this is the top of my cube i will select this top and i will create one sketch now at the center of this cube so i will just uh, draw a circle and randomly add a dimension how much it must be 6 cm so the 6 cm diameter i have drawn but my uh, question was that i have to draw it at the center of the cube and the uh, this circle is definitely not at the center of the cube so i have to use some tricks here so instead of the uh, i will click on the line command and i will draw a vertical line but see while uh, moving on this edge at a particular point the circ the there is a triangle appearing that means this is the center point of the particular line i will just click it and draw a vertical line downward so this is one line i draw and similarly i will draw another line i am using the sketch relation midpoint the triangle means the midpoint of the vertical line i will click it 
and I will move towards the right and similarly I will place it. So you can see the two lines are there and I will make it to dotted lines, dotted lines like construction line. In geometry or algebra, you see the construction lines are always dotted ones. Those are for the reference. Those are not part main part of your problem statement. Just like, like, just like that, these are the construction lines. These are for my reference. Since I want to place the circle at the center, I use the two dotted lines. And now I will move my dot, uh, the center of the circle, and place it there. Now my circle is positioned at the center of the top face of the cube. Its dimension is 6 cm. I am all set with the sketch. So I will click on green tick. That means my sketch is completed. Now I will, I will use the sketch and I will make a hole. Now I want to make a hole. I don't want to add a new material. I want to remove the material. So here you can see there is an extrude and there is a cut extrude, extrude cut. That means I can add a cut using this sketch. So I will click on extrude cut. Again, it is asking me which profile I want to select. Can you help me to select the profile? Which profile I will select in this case? Drop your answer in the Q&A section. Which profile I will select to make the cut? Circle, Anjali, Anjish, you are correct. Yes, I will select the sketch profile. So I will select the sketch profile. And you can see the preview shows that there will be some cut. And what will be the depth of the cut? Six centimeter. And if I click OK, the cut is there. And you can see there is a cut inside the cube. Understood how we created how we created a simple cube. Then we added one cut or a, a hole in the cube. <coughs> Understood. Don't know how to make this. All right. Understood till now. After construction, how to bring it to center? I will show you. Uh, just wait. All right. So sketch, sketch three, we selected and cut is made. Now the point is, let us say this is uh, this is one of the part inside your dream product. And initially, you, you made a cut of six centimeter. Later on, you realize that's a uh, that is not an enough cut. We need to make it throughout. We want to place that cylindrical hole throughout the cube. So what I will go, I will go back to extrude cut three and instead of six centimeter, I will make it 12 centimeter. And if I click it, that will be the cut throughout the cube. You can see the other part. There is a cut from the top and bottom. The cut is there. So now I have made the cut throughout the cube. Understood. You can always go back to any, any section and change its dimension. All right, so some of the students asked me how you can on the second sketch, that is a sketch three, how you drag the circle. All right, let me change the view of the model. Since I want to access the top view, see, I click the top of the chair and I was able to access the circle. So here you can see the center point. There is a relation is added, concentric. If I delete that, and if I move my circle, it is moving. So the circle is blue in color, though it has a dimension with it. You can see this dimension. <coughs> Sorry. You have this dimension, but the sketch is not fully defined. I can just uh, select the center point, and I will move this sketch towards the center and I will yeah the moment I see the triangle icon I will release it it is placed at the center 
and the sketch is fully defined. Mm. You need to spend some time on this. You will get to know more and more. My dear friends, you are the young generation of our country and you have excellent ability to, ability to capture all these modern technologies. So those who are facing some difficulty, these are for some time only. You have a really good potential to crack all these capabilities of the software. Don't worry, my dear friends. Understood? Okay, now I will give you one assignment and uh, um, you create it and uh, you give me the volume of the part. All right? So here is my problem definition for you. Or you can, uh, I can use it from the tech training manual. This one is a little bit tricky. You have to use other dimensions also. Just a minute. Let me see the full sketch. Okay, here is the complete sketch. You can refer. I will just uh, zoom in so that the sketch is accessible. Can you see the sketch properly, all of its dimensions on my screen? So you have to create this sketch, 25 centimeter, 32 centimeter, and then there is an angle 135. The angle is 135 degrees. And you need to create a sketch, then you need to extrude it by 6 centimeter. Extrude it by 6 centimeter and find the volume of the part and drop it on the chat window, Q&A section window, so that I will understand whether your part is correct or not. How many of you are able to create it? So your time starts now. XD, uh, if X design manager is closed, there is a small arrow that must be there. Click on that, your design manager will open. I'm sorry, maybe there are some teachers, they might be uh, ask, ask, answering or work, uh, um, answering the questions in the Q&A section. So I'm just assuming all the students are there and I'm just uh, taking the names. So sorry for that. So Krishna, can you please just go there and access X Design Manager? Others, please focus on this and try to create this. I will give you five more minutes to make it. Extrude it by six mm. Six mm se extrude karne ka hai ye aapko. Six mm. Usko thickness se six mm and find the volume of the part and drop it into the chat window. Everything is in centimeter. Yes. Sorry. Uh, see, uh, okay. Everything is in centimeter, not in mm. Let's. We were practicing in everything in centimeter. Keep it centimeter. Everything in centimeter. All right. Everything is in uh, centimeter. We will share the models with you. MM means uh, um, MM is a small unit, but see what is the what is your dream product based on that the unit will change. Yeah, have you have you uh, did you get the answer? What is the size? I, I have not seen, not able to see the sketch properly. Sir, we have OpenX design, but I get this error message. Uh, 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 Arjun, uh, 
can you just uh can you just clear your cache and relaunch uh relog into 3d experience platform and try to access its x design maybe that will so solve your problem opt one message in the chat window you can you can connect uh, the, you can if you do not know your school champion don't only drop an email to mr shubham arora and one email per school only one email per student that will be ton of emails in his in inbox i don't want that one email per student uh, one email per school and uh, if you know your school champion don't need to connect with shubham you just connect with your school champion and some of uh, one of the technical expert will connect with your school specifically and will sort out your queries understood okay volume is okay weight is okay extrude 6 cm so volume is 6687.061 uh, okay some of some of the students have, have got the volume and uh, it is something around 6000 900 approximately let's try to create it and then uh let's ch check it let let me create it first so i will save this part and i will click on this close icon to close the part now i will create a new part sample underscore uh part 01 and i will click okay so what was the dimension 25 by 32 then 135 degree angle 50 cm 20 cm that way i have to create a sketch so i will create a sketch on the front plane so this way i will go downward then this way horizontal sketch then what is next i have to create a uh, this sketch this one this is okay so this is how it is i want this part to be horizontal now this angle is 135 degree i'm adding angle dimension so we angle is one of the dimension that you can add important one then this is 32 cm 50 cm and 20 cm this is 32 this is 32 cm this point is away from the origin that is 50 cm this is 20 cm why the sketch is not fully defined still it is blue in color what must be the reason yeah this two lines must be parallel to each other now remember this line and this line has to be parallel to one another okay what else is remaining okay which dimension it it still remaining have you missed any dimension 25 yeah <laughs> the vertical dimension is 25 cm oh it wasn't there so one more dimension was needed 25 25 30 50 it must be blue in color why it is not blue in color so which dimension we are missing 32 50 are we missing any di okay see this uh, this line and this line 90 degree yes 90 degree is the relation we have used so what is remaining here 
Okay, so this dimension on the left, it must be 25. That was missing in my sketch. So sketch is fully defined. Vertical dimension, horizontal dimension. Then there is a 50 centimeter dimension. This is 20 centimeter. The sketch is black in color. That means it is fully defined. I will go to features tab. I will click extrude and extrude it by six centimeter. And I will click OK. So this is the part that I was asking you to make it. I will go to the tools tab and will check the weight property. I will select the part. And the weight is 6687.061 centimeter approximately. Many students have got the answer, almost got the same answer. 6687. Yeah, it's absolutely right. Okay, so Gitika is asking me to how to create a horizontal angle. See, I will delete this angle. Angle is like angle between the two lines. So I will click on the command. I will select first line. I will select second line and automatically the angle command is shown there. I will I can change it. Let us say 125, maybe 145. I want I can add it whatever I want. So this is how you can just add the dimension. Delete it. Once again, I will show you. Activate the command, select one of the line, second selects another line, the angle command is there. And just enter your angle, you have placed your dimension. All right. <coughs> All right. <coughs> now some important things that this is just a basic, uh, uh, I will save the changes. I want to show you some more things that so that you can learn at your own pace. Because some of the students grasp things so fast, they are like hungry birds. And they want more and more stuff to learn more. So if you go, if you go to this tab, two wise or two person smaller and bigger one, click on that community icon, expand it. <coughs> then you can see there are so many communities. Go to your school community. Once you go to your school community and if you search for your wiki pages, <coughs> not here, this one may be old one. I will just show you another school community. Yeah, not here. Just a minute. <coughs> Maybe <it's coughs> some other community. communities uh, go to any one of the school community and uh, try to <coughs> you just go to community your school community and you click on wiki one and then there is a post from kundali gargay he is a part of my team who also conduct and manage x design training so in that you will see a complete uh, instruction based videos uh, about uh, not this one there is one more yeah where is training training You just search for Kundalik Gharge and there is one post uh, regarding your training content. There is a training content. <clears throat> there is a training content. Uh, uh, instruction based video material is there that all of you can access. I'm just <coughs> not in this community. Maybe other community for all seed the future twenty. This is all volunteers community. Wiki one. Just a minute. Learning content. Uh, eggs design training status uh, 
just a minute i'm trying to access all volunteers community there is a training material uh, you try to um, i was part of uh, old uh, i don't i'm not sure about these schools because i'm not a school champion anymore so maybe i'm not able to find it but you just access to your school community and there must be one post from um, there there must be one uh, swim community that is accessible to all the schools on that uh, community you will find the learning material yeah i think this is the yeah this is the community and if i click on this yeah step by step instruction can you see this step by this is the community see the future entrepreneurs season 20 24 25 this community all of you have access to this community so please access this community and there a wiki page on that wiki, you search for wiki page and there is one wiki page where you have a step by step instruction video you can follow this instru uh, these are the steps and the video is there if you are not able to perform the steps you can just play the video and see how how they have created a particular part or particular step understood Yes, you can make logos. See the X design. You you have access. Can you? Am I audible, sir? Am I audible to everybody? I saw a couple of uh, people say no voice, so I'm just checking. I'm taking the session from home. Today is holiday, so I'm not sure about the internet, but it is working just fine for past one and uh, one hour and fifteen minutes. Any any issue with voice? It's working just fine. You can make, if you want, you can make a logo using X design. No problem at all. So this is the learning material. There is a two part. One is assembly modeling and one is part modeling. So what you shown, what I've shown today, it's just a smart glimpse of part modeling. There are so many commands, so many things you can explore on yourself. And let us say it is starting with basics, how to log into X design. How to uh, how to access X design? How to launch the part? How to access the part? Then how to set your cursor movement? What is the different things in the user uh, in the graphics area of the X design? Then how to create a sketch? So many things I've discussed step by step instruction videos. My team has created a lot a lot of efforts have been put up to make these videos and these are accessible to all of you. You just need to log into the platform, go to this community and access this learning material, my dear friends. All right. We, so this is all about from my side. Uh, we are planning to conduct another session which I, in which I will cover or one of my teammates will cover some part. Uh, this was like part modeling. In the next session, we will see some assembly modeling let us say when we have two parts how we can assemble them <clears throat> meanwhile just go through this part modeling step by step instruction section and i i will provide you some uh, cad exercises on this community so that you can practice on your own you can also reach out to your school champion and you can ask him or her your queries Do you have any query question? Please drop into the chat window. The session is already a uh, recording is in progress. I will sh sh share the recording of the session on this community also. So you can let us say some of the st uh, students uh, might have not attended the session today. So they can refer it on their own and practice it. So, 
all right so please access this community and uh, make sure all your team teammates and your teacher have access to the platform platform is like key to your project your dream product you should be whatever the things you are going to make it if you are if you have a meeting let us say this session is completed i will share the recording on the platform if i provide you uh, if i am going to create some uh, exercise uh, pdf for you for this particular session i will share it on to the community i am not going to drop a single email to any student or teacher so the platform is the key for your uh, for your success in this program so one of the school last year uh, they represented uh, their school uh, their their dream product uh, on i think on science day at delhi and they got a chance to meet our prime minister and they they showcased their project their product and how that is useful to the society and uh, our prime minister were uh, really amazed to see all those things so this is how this platform provides you you can see the potential of this platform i think there is a no system requirement to open x design <laughs> x design is just a, a <coughs> you can work on x design if on your tablet also even in phone you can uh, smartphone you can launch it and if you have a touch uh, there is a one screen touch screen or uh, others i am not sure about the specific word for that but you, if you have some touch screen uh, things then you can work on smartphone also okay so you are getting a notification of using gpu for maximum performance you can always you can take the screenshot of your problem and you can connect with shubham or on that maybe he will help you on that <clears throat> or some one of the member from his team will connect back with you you connect with your school champion or you connect uh, with <coughs> shubham he will guide you i am the part of x design training team and our uh, job is to make sure that all our students have were able to perform uh, create their dream product on x design well our job is like uh, uh, is to make you aware that how you uh, access your x design and how you can create your own product i have just demonstrated couple of things not everything next session will be regarding assembly modeling this was just one part of x design all right i think i have answered uh, all the queries and also you can drop a message how was the session today was it interacting exciting did you did you learn something in today's session you can respond and after that uh, we can conclude the session just uh, be frank whatever the things you thought just drop it that is that is the that i can utilize uh, for our next sessions Aditya, you need to connect with <clears throat> Shubha Marola. I have already dropped his name in the chat window. Uh, Joyce, I think uh, you can. Uh, 
you if uh, one now the session uh, is recorded i will provide you the link of this uh, session you can always go back and look at the session and try on your own there is a step by step instruction document also it's a full learning path for part modeling what i have shown what i have shown all these things are covered in this step by step modeling instruction document and all your students and friends can learn at own pace thank you kalgoda sir all right i think we can conclude the session and the recording of the session will be soon available on to the 3d experience platform all right you can drop your i'm i'm just there for a couple of more minutes you can drop your message in the chat window a q and a section window it will be available yes it will be available on youtube also handbook is not something that i can share with all of you handbook is like a training manual that we create and uh, but some of the exercise files uh, i will convert into a pdf and i will share with you yes you can down uh, this uh, from this community you can just take the screenshot and you can follow on at your own pace arthi madam <clears throat> i think the that is a you just access go to the platform and just access i don't think so you need to go to youtube but on youtube there is a solid works youtube channel you can also uh, access it i will just share you the link where you can see uh, solid works youtube channel let me just find it official youtube there are so many channels there are so many channels just a minute solid works official is there is something called official just a minute my friends so many things yeah so you go to this channel solid works and you have things to make from the practical to the incredible imagining the biggest idea you can go to this channel and you can access your content there also i will in the i will drop it into the chat window there you can see some x design content but uh, you have to be on this platform for the great success of your product everything all the small steps if you make all that you have to uh, mention it on your community because this is what all the tracking will be done by the jury members all right thank you everyone see you in the next webinar and wish you all the best with this uh, wish you all the best for this program i i uh, i'm looking for a great success of each school for this program thank you bye everyone take care